Mariela Marie G. Hugo, cum laude, Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in English, will deliver the valedictory address. Our commencement speaker, Chair of the Board of Trustees, University officials, faculty, fellow graduates, ladies and gentlemen. Lang, the short term for the Filipino word lamang, which means just or only. A word used to express limitations and a lack of something. Yun lang, yan lang, ito lang. Sounds unmotivating. But this is the reality that some of us had to face through college. When I was little, I aspired to work in the field of health sciences. I always said to myself, if I become a doctor or a pharmacist, I will always know what medicine to give if someone gets sick in my family. I will always know what to do. I always had that dream since I started grade school until I finished high school. However, I got lost, confused, and somehow unsure on whether I should really take a program in the health sciences. As time passed by, I weighed my options. Do I see myself in this field? Will I be happy? Will I be interested in this in five, 10, 20 years? And the obvious answer is no. During that course of contemplation, I took into consideration my likes and my dislikes and my strengths and weaknesses. I know I am talkative. I am fairly proficient in English. I like being with people. I am patient with kids. Um, kinda. And I like it when I help people learn. I like it when I learn. And I will love it if I will be able to continue learning. With this, I knew the path I needed to take. When I decided to pursue education, I heard snide remarks from people. Bakit magti-teacher ka lang? Sayang yung talino mo. Mababa pa yung sweldo. Giving them the benefit of the doubt, I thought they were just being concerned. But what does this imply? Knowledgeable people shouldn't be teachers? I shouldn't teach because I won't get rich from it? Who should be teachers then? Now, how many of you have heard these lines from your friends, family, and even mere acquaintances? Ah, mas kom lang. Video, video. Tapos, endo after ng project. <laughs> Management lang? Di ba polo plan lang yun? Tapos magsusulat kayo dun ng mga number. Ah, alam mo, ang hina mo. Mag-edok ka na lang kaya. <laughs> Even if those lines were jokingly said, it does not lessen the pain we feel every time we hear those slangs from the people who are supposed to rally behind us. To be doubted by our loved ones is even worse. To hear the words that made you question your value and your purpose in life is like a blinding pain you somehow cannot complain about. Why does this lang in different programs exist? Is there a set of criteria that gauges which programs are deemed worthy and which are not? I believe this lang exists because our own choices do not satisfy other people's expectations. If our profession is deemed unusual, impractical, easy, or not high paying, many people consider it a lang. But are practicality and prestige the only things to consider when choosing a profession? 
I beg to disagree. Some of those in the field of arts have to choose between food or art materials and survived on drinking Copico 78 on their worst days. Coming up with unique ideas usually exhausts their creative juices. So what they do will never be allowed. Their commitment to delivering art for art's sake or using it as a medium to express sentiments about social issues may be contradictory, but it is anything but lang. Communication is probably one of the most misunderstood programs out there. Calm people are keen observers, especially when it comes to tiny details. There is no room for lang in what they do. Their roles to keep us updated, informed, and vigilant help us be more responsible in the actions that we do and the things that we believe in. Education. I cannot remember how many times I've been asked why I chose education. <laughs> but my question is, why not education? True. The paycheck may be unappealing for some, but teaching isn't called the noblest profession for no reason. To teach young minds and to see them grow and develop into someone they can be proud of is some, one of the most fulfilling moments a person can ever experience. To go beyond the line of duty to make sure that the students are both academically adept and also equipped with a high sense of morality is both a duty and a reward in itself. Education lang will never measure the sacrifices, dedication, compassion, and empathy that a teacher has. Regardless of what other people say about what we pursue, we still chose to continue. And so, here we are. The strength and courage we have shown is enough to ignite a fire to do what we love doing. Doing what we are best at creates a diverse world of talents and skills. Talents and skills that will help us pull each other up while we are pulling ourselves up. Talents and skills that will continue to serve this country for its development and the development of its people. Let us do our part in recognizing the importance of our individual differences and multiple intelligences. Multiple intelligence exists for a reason. This only proves that our passion and aspirations in life are grounded in our dominant intelligence. It further shows that each program is incomparable to each other. One can excel at something other people may be having trouble with, but that doesn't mean that those people don't have a knack for something exceptional too. Our intrinsic motivations drive us to do better in what we do, along with the skills that we can further develop as we go along the way. There is no prof superior profession as there is no long profession. We should not settle that the sciences are better than the arts or the speakers are better than the listeners. Our different abilities complement each other in forming a holistic individual to form a holistic society. Moreover, let us strive not to let this lang come from us. Because the times may be challenging, but we should never be discouraged by the lungs that we have heard. Not everyone understands why we chose our course. Not everyone knows the reason why you're standing here. Having gone through rigorous tasks for four, five, six, or maybe seven years. Not everyone has seen you exhaust yourself to the point of breaking only to be able to stand where you're standing right now. Even the passion you once had seemed to flicker at times, and they didn't know about the moments when you hit rock bottom 
and almost couldn't go back up. But you did. We did. Whatever your reasons are, they are important enough to keep you going. Be it because of your parents, your passion, your friends, or yourself. Keep them with you. And if you ever trip, slide, or bleed along the way, cry if you must. But never forget to stand up with your head held high. Reach out for the hands offered to you. But never be afraid to be your own anchor. All the scars and bruises show how tough you are. You will never be defined by your mistakes. Because as cliche as this sounds, every successful person out there has his or her fair share of failures. With this, we must thank our university and the administration for never giving up on us and for being our haven for the past few years. Thank you to our professors, for they have equipped us with knowledge we need for our chosen profession. Thank you, classmates, for the camaraderie and teamwork. Thanks be to the people who came and left, but more to those who believed and stayed. Thanks be to our family for their unending grace and their sacrifice and motivation. But more importantly, we thank God for his unending grace. So to the graduates of Batch 2019, let us remember that every profession is valued and needed. And don't let other people tell you otherwise. You will never be a lang, and you should never feel like one. As Tamaraos, we should strive to always be brave. Continue believing in yourself and aim for greater heights. Thank you. And now, to provide a musical interlude, let's welcome the FBU Parade.